Hi everyone! Today we're going to go over math signs and equations. Let's get started. First we have the plus sign. We use this sign when we are adding items. For example, here we have 1 plus 2. What do you think that equals? Let's use some cookies as an example. If you have one cookie and I give you two more cookies, we are adding two more cookies to the one you have. How many cookies do you have? Let's count. One, two, three. You would have three cookies. One plus two equals three. How about we try another one? Here we have three plus two equals. This time let's use some balloons to figure this out. If you have three balloons and your friend gives you two more, we will be adding two balloons to the three you already have. How many balloons do you have now? One, two, three, four, five. Right, you would have five balloons. Three plus two equals five. Now let's try some subtraction using the minus sign. We use the minus sign when we are subtracting or taking away. For example, here we have four minus three equals. So if you have four apples and you give three of them to your friends, how many apples do you have left? Let's see. Here we have four apples. Now let's subtract. One, two, three. We have one apple left. Four minus three equals one. Here's another example with the minus sign. We have six minus four equals. If I had six carrots and I fed the bunnies four of them, how many carrots would I have left? Here are our six carrots, and here's our bunnies. If we subtract the four carrots I fed them, one, two, three, four, how many carrots do we have left? One, two. That's right, we would have two carrots left. Let's try something new. This time we will use our multiplication sign. You would use this sign when you are adding groups of the same number together. Our first example is two multiplied by three equals. So this means we have two groups of three to be added together. Here we have our two groups. Each one has three presents. One, two, three, one, two, three. How many presents do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. We would have six presents. Two multiplied by three equals six. Here's another example. This time we have one multiplied by six equals. This would mean we have one group of six like these flowers. If there's only one group of six, then we have six flowers. One multiplied by six equals six. Anytime you multiply a number by one, you will always have that number because there's only one group of that number. Now we will try some division. Here we have eight divided by four equals. We would look at this like we have eight items and we need to break them down into four groups to see how many are in each group. So if we have a pizza with eight slices and you split those amongst you and three friends, how many do we have in each group? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So each of you would have one, two, two slices. Eight divided by four equals two. The next two signs we have will be greater than and less than. These signs are used to show you which number is bigger or greater than and which is smaller or less than. 
the way I remember which is which is to think of it as an alligator with his mouth open. Whichever number is bigger or greater, that's the one the alligator wants to eat, and he will always have his mouth open to that number. We will also always read these from left to right. Here's an example. We have six, our sign, and four. So if we have six cats over here and four over here, which side has more or the greater number of cats? That's right, the side with six. You can see the alligator mouth is open to the six. You're doing so well. So this would mean six is greater than four. Now let's try this one. If we have three dogs over here and eight dogs over here, which side has more dogs? Which side is the alligator mouth open towards? You got it. So we would read this as three is greater than or less than. Yes, less. So we read this as three is less than eight. Now let's try two without the sign in them. This time we have a five and a four. Which number is bigger or greater than? Which number would the hungry alligator want to eat? We have five fish over here and four over here. Which side has more fish? That's right, five. Five is greater than four. For our last one, we will use a two and a nine. Which number would the alligator want this time? Which number is bigger? Awesome, yes, the nine birds. So we will add our sign with the mouth facing the nine. Now we would read this one as two is less than nine. I hope you learned something new and this sparks an interest in learning more about math. Bye-bye.